featuring incredible artists from the U.S., Mexico, Spain, and France who reside here in the country. And a special performance by Ijastros, the National Institute of Flamenco, is proud to present Festival Flamenco Alburquerque. That's right, throw that extra R in there. We're joined this morning by Operations uh, Director Annie De Horacio to get some updates on the festival this morning. Good morning, Annie. Good morning. It's great to have you with us. And uh, this is very cool right now because we know that this festival has been coming up and we're getting so close to it. Let's talk about this year's edition of it. We're really excited about this year's edition. So as many people already know, we were not able to secure visas for our artists who are based in Spain. And we had a lot of um, incredible support at the local, state, and national level, but it just wasn't happening because of the pandemic and other complications with that. So we're really, really excited to be able to bring U.S.-based artists to this year's festival. Okay. So we'll have artists who are from Spain, from France, from Mexico, from Cuba, and from New Mexico as well, and artists who are based in San Francisco, Los Angeles, Miami. It's going to be a great festival. We're really, really excited to have all these artists we're also very excited to welcome back uh, a dancer by the name of Yailisa and her company. She was in the first two editions of SUF Flamenco. We're really, really happy to have her back. Wow. And again, you know, some changes coming out after we have, uh, we're coming out of the, uh, the other side of the pandemic right now. But, uh, you know, uh, there's one thing that's going to be at the heart of this is that, you know, this is on an international stage. The flamenco is going to be carried and featured here in Albuquerque. What are the audiences going to get to be treated to? I think that the audiences will see performances that are of the standard that they've come to expect from mm -hmm. Festival Flamenco and from, from the Institute as well. I'm particularly excited about the Hastros performance. We are inviting other New Mexican Flamenco artists to, to be in the show. So uh, Vicente Griego, who sings for Hastros, he also has a wonderful rumba flamenca musical ensemble called Revoso. So he'll be guesting with Revoso in the show. Um, Chuscales, Juan City from Santa Fe, um, Jose Cortez, who's based in Los Angeles, but, but he also works in New Mexico a lot. He'll be singing, and Valeria Montes and Juan de la Isla. So it's going to be a really kind of New Mexico all stars night. We're very excited about it. Yeah, definitely. So, and, and the best part about this, too, I mean, it, it's not even just the, the performances themselves, but it's the background that, uh, that some of the, the talks and, and, and everything's going to be given on that as well. How, yeah. how does that work? Yeah, so we have. Um, we have a number of educational workshops, which some people are familiar with from, from years of participating in the festival. We're lucky to have a very loyal community. Uh, we also have free programming. We have the 8th Biennial New Perspectives in Flamenco History and Research Symposium. So it is free to the public. It will be held at the La Flamenco Albuquerque, and um, people can visit online as well if they're not comfortable yet going into a space. There's going to be a diverse array of lectures and panel discussions about all kinds of topics that are related to flamenco, the history of flamenco, the, the politics of flamenco. It's, it's a really rich cultural experience. And that's free programming. So that's Friday and Saturday of the festival week. And it's kicking off July 13th? July 13th, yeah. So it's a little bit smaller in length than usual. Usually we have about 10 days. Uh -huh. And then this year uh, it'll be July 13th to the 17th. All of the performances in the theater will be at the National Hispanic Cultural Center, and we have three late night tablaos. And the tablaos are always amazing. So I hope people get their tickets soon because they're going really fast. Gotta love it. Uh, real quick, a website where we can find information. We can find your audiences. We, we can find information. Your audiences yeah. can find information at FF, as in flamenco, ffabq.org, and they can get tickets at holdmyticket.com. All right. Annie De Horacio, thank you so much for joining us thank this morning. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.